it is inevitable for you to have a sip of that cup which the Lord Jesus Christ drank. And with the baptism that I am baptized with all, shall ye be baptized. There was a baptism that was experienced by the Lord Jesus Christ all his life. And he said in the book of Luke, if we are going to ba go back to the book of Luke, I am constrained until it is accomplished. I have a baptism to be baptized with. And how I am constrained until it is accomplished. So baptism in fire is a lifelong experience. You will constantly be put to fire until you succeed, Brother Daniel. We will as Christians be put into fire for the test and the trials of our faith. But we must not worry because God always takes care of things we cannot, uh, we cannot uh, do, things we cannot understand, things we cannot endure. Uh, God will take care of all those things. We have to have faith that whatever God do to us is for the benefit of our souls. It's for our own good. Let us read 8.28 of the book of Romans. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are the cold, according to His purpose. See, we know all things work together for good to them that love God. You see, uh, I will give you an insight, Brother Noah. Why Holy Spirit and with fire? Why? Because fire represents temptations and tests and trials. Whenever there is tests and trials, sometimes because of the weakness of our flesh, we may fail because of the weakness of our flesh. But remember, the baptism is with the Holy Spirit and with fire. Why with the Holy Spirit? In consonance with the temptations and trials and tests, there is also the Holy Spirit. Why? 826 of the book of Romans. Likewise, the Spirit also helpeth our infirmities. This, there is it. Uh, the Holy Spirit augments our weaknesses. It helps us in our infirmity. Whenever there is test, whenever there is trial, when there, whenever there are temptations, there comes the Holy Spirit. It will submerge your being. It will be poured to you by God to cover your being with force and strength to endure the temptation and the tests and the trials. That is the analogy. Here comes the fire, the test, the trials, the temptation. But here comes also the Holy Spirit that will uh, help us in our infirmity. 2641 of the book of Matthew. Watch and pray that ye enter not into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. The weakness of the flesh is augmented by the Holy Spirit of God. So, I believe, Brother Noah, I believe that what other religious groups are trying to explain to their members that the baptism in the Holy Spirit will make you speak in tongues, etc., etc., will make you miracle, etc. It is more than that. There are things beyond that that we must see. As the LHC have seen, the Large Hadron Collider have seen something wonderful in its experiment. You do not just see the atom or the protons or the neutron or the nucleo, nucleus of the atom. You, can, you must see beyond that. What do I mean? Uh, beyond uh, that uh, something which is visible to others, that when the Holy Spirit comes, you can perform miracles as the Apostle Paul have, have done, as the other apostles of the Lord Jesus Christ have done. You can speak in tongues because of the Holy Spirit. 
But there's, there are things more important than speaking in tongues according to the Bible. And that is uh, the augmentation being done by the Holy Spirit. Whenever we have to be uh, strengthened in the weaknesses of our flesh, when temptations, trials, and tests comes to us. So I say again, baptism in the Holy Spirit and in fire is a lifelong experience of a Christian. Just like what the Lord Jesus Christ said, and it will culminate, it will end up in death. Let us then again read chapter 12 of Luke. Let us read 49 of Luke. I came to cast fire upon the earth, and would that it were already kindled. I have a baptism to be baptized with, and how I am constrained until it is accomplished. It is clear in verse 49 that he said, I came to cast fire upon the earth, and would that it were already kindled, and I have a baptism to be baptized with and how I am constrained until it accomplished. Because of the sufferings that he is uh, going to endure and to experience, he said, I have a baptism to be baptized with and how I am constrained until it is accomplished. Uh, is it the baptism that he received with John, Brother Daniel? Definitely no. Definitely no. Because... At that period in his ministry, he was already baptized with John. But still, there is a baptism that he must be baptized with. And those are the trials and the temptations and the sufferings that he will uh, suffer in the hands of the Jews. So, my profound analysis of that uh, declaration of John the Baptist is that somebody comes greater than me. That will baptize you with the Holy Spirit, with the Holy Ghost, and with fire. Meaning, He will submerge you to the Holy Ghost, or to the Holy Spirit, and He will submerge you to fire. Meaning, He will test your faith with fire, and with the temptation, or with the test of faith and the trials of faith, he will also send the Holy Spirit to help you at that moment of test and temptations and trial. Thus will make a Christian a strong man or a strong being ready to inherit eternal life. That is my view of the fire in that baptism being uh, spoken by John. I hope you got my point, Brother No. Yes, Brother No. Yes, Brother Brother Eli, um, I'm so much, uh, I'm happy you, what you said, your teaching is right. Uh, that is the Bible. Um, not that I want to maybe add to what you are saying, but the fact is this is exactly what we are teaching. The Word of God is amen and amen. Uh, what we, thank God my mom is here, she's nodding her head, uh, as you are talking, what we tell uh, those who come to us is that uh, you cannot go into the kingdom of God with excess luggage. Uh, when you have seen... Amen to that, brother. <laughs> brother Noah, you cannot go into the kingdom of God with excess luggage. You can put some grease money on airlines with excess luggage, but to God you cannot. So what we tell them is the moment you come into the body of Christ, there is the tendency by the time you are baptized in water, eh, eh, uh, like you said, the, the, the cleansing doesn't go into the deep, the, ins the inside soul of man. There could be some element of uh, lust. There could be some element of... Uh, uh, Malice, there could be some other things. When the Holy Spirit then comes into a man, it enables that man to be able to withstand the fire that will be uh, with which he or she will be baptized. So that in, the, in due season, the malice in you 
will be burnt off. The hatred in you will be burnt off until you come to the perfection that Christ has in mind. And uh, on the other hand, uh, what also we teach, we, we, we tell people concerning, uh, the Bible calls the, what is done in the secret the kingdom of darkness. Uh, fornication, the Bible says that those who get drunk, get drunk at night. Wickedness does not come to the light of God. And when the Bible is talking critically about hellfire, uh, Jesus Christ said that everything that is done in the secret, time is coming, they will be revealed on the rooftop. And every imagination of man will come to the open. Uh, I, I think in the book of Proverbs, I'm not good as uh, Brother Eli that quote it exactly as they are, uh, but the Bible says that a time will come when we will behold on that man, that man who deceived the nations, who did not let his captives go free. So time will come when all the wicked things that we are done in secret will be revealed by the fire of God. And then nothing again will be hidden because if sinners will realize who the devil is in reality, nobody will get deceived. The reason why a, a young man becomes uh, affected with HIV is because he is enveloped with the deceit of I love you. And not knowing that behind it there is hidden sexual transmissible disease. And that is exactly what happens with the devil. He shows us the, 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 the uh, pleasurable part of uh, the whole thing, but he hides the very main evil. But in time to come, God is going to reveal all that we are done in the wicked. Well spoken, brother. Uh, amen. Amen. We will be coming, brother. No, we will come. We will be coming back for a short break, brother. Daniel. Yes, uh, brother Ellie. We shall pause for a break, and uh, please keep it here. We shall be right back. 